Guess who's back? Back again. Mikey's back. Tell a friend. Hey, everybody. Here with another video for you guys today. And today we're going to be looking at the 90th anniversary Pirates uh, competition that is going on. So we're going to get a new Pirate set Yay. sometime in the near future from Lego. But before we go any further, let me just say, if you like this video, any other videos on the channel, please. Like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be getting into the Lego 90th anniversary contest for Pirates that is going on right now after my intro coming in. No. talk about this this is uh the skull ice schooner remake that is coming possibly it's been submitted to the lego ideas 90th anniversary uh contest they got going on and lego is going to pick some of these to get built or maybe just one of them um and i wanted to talk about this one in particular because the skull ice schooner is my white whale of a lego set period this was the pirate ship I had when I was a child, and I loved it, and I still don't own it, and it still kind of irks me. And the reason that I don't is because I could spend how much it costs to buy the thing. You could probably build something like this, and, and you would just be better off. So the idea of Lego actually remaking this ship like they did with the Barracuda I am all for. We Do don't we? get to vote, but I figure if you draw some attention to it. Somebody at Lego might say, hey, they want that. Yeah. <laughs> where, where, where are sales? Because it kind of looks kinda weird, kinda looks weird without, without the sales. sales. It does. And I'm sure Lego would include some sales. And, yeah. And, and this is by no means... Thank you know what it would be as a finished product and here's the description many of you many of you remember the 1993 lego set the skull eye schooner with the release of the new pirates of barracuda bay a couple of years ago i thought i would remake the skull eye schooner with 12 cannons two decks three masks disagree with you guys like it should definitely have some sales if it was to get made uh panel right there uh with the uh, skull and crossbones on it and, I, and I'm pretty sure it was exclusive only to that set. Well, at least oh, they're least getting they're more. more. They're trying, trying more pirates. Pirate. Yeah. Well, yeah, they're definitely trying to. That, and that's one of the things I wanted to touch upon is the new Lego icons theme that they're kind of created out, out of like the ashes of Lego ideas, if you will, is, is going to be, I think themed for stuff like this is that we'll see some of these big like even if it's just a one-off thing like like a pirate ship or uh maybe another castle or some other medieval building or another forestman set or heck even lord of the rings you know you never know what they could decide to bring through this icons line and that's why i think it'll definitely be uh interesting I feel like they're going like to release Lord of the Rings regardless, 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 regardless because of the because of the news on screen. On screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's definitely a good point. Olandorf says, "Doesn't Mikey got too much ships?" <laughs> What's that mean? <laughs> I do. I do. I might have too many, but but like I said, th this is my white whale, and so I would not. I would not pass up on this particular set get remade. Uh, I, I know I said just recently in uh, my Lego ideas for uh, the Armada port video mm -hmm. that I would actually, I, I have enough pirate ships. I would like some more land sets. And I still stand by that as a general rule, but not when it comes to the Skull Ice Cube. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at a couple of more that... 
are available here. These are all the ones that looks like have kind of been chosen. They got the little medals on them, you can see. So the Skull Eye Schooner is definitely one. You got this Imperial ship here. Captain Blackbeard's head. I mean, these are all fun and unique builds in their own way. Uh, intergalactic plunder or plunder. Uh, no. You know what I think we can all agree on would be amazing. What? If they had like a UCS like pirate ship, like it has like over a hundred guns. It's massive. It has a bunch of figures. Ooh. That'd be cool. That would be cool. <laughs> Like the Dauntless from the uh, first Pirates film or something. Yeah. I would want to get that. Forget the Titanic. Let's go Pirate. <laughs> there you go. See, I mean, there's a lot of... I mean, look at this. That terrain is amazing. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. You can't even see what's that. going on, though. It's so busy. I want to get all these Lego idea sets. These are impressive. Mm -hmm. You could have them all in one mock. That'd be impressive. That's a showpiece right there. Yeah. yeah. Then again, it's Lego, so they don't really... I've seen that they don't incorporate that much terrain detail and stuff, so... Yeah. This, this one here is one that I know uh, I've seen talked about a bit as well. Oh. It's a, a pirate wreckage to the 10th degree, for sure. It's like, how many ships are there? That's a big shipwreck. Yeah. That's like I think that's ship three ships. Wow. Uh, well, that's Barracuda Bay. No, the flag's different. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, it might have some aspects for Barracuda Bay in it, but... Oh, I'm saying Lego. You gotta get, like, like... A bunch of these idea sets out. They they would make you a lot of money. A lot of people would want to buy these. Like some of these are amazing. And I, I mean this one here, this El Dorado Fortress remake, I could see this one being a possible winner as well. You know, mm -hmm. We have the original one and I mean and this is definitely a highly regarded Lego Pirate set. If they made it, I would definitely Lego, it. they just need a keep it low in price for all yeah. these new, uh, new ideal sets. That's a, and that's a good point is, you know, they do try to, I think they have to hit certain price points. Well, that's probably why they take a lot of the details out of it. And some of these are like, they would be like in a really expensive set. <laughs> yeah. This, this one wouldn't be half bad. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if we'd see the island and stuff with it, but the big ship, that's a, that's a decent sized ship. That's nice looking. Yeah. Yeah. That'd look like, yeah. It'd look good if we had several just in a little battle. Yeah, that'd be cool. Here they have it battling the Barracuda. <laughs> you want a battle? See, it would match up well with it. Yeah. 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 So let me see if there's a couple more that catch my eye. Oh, here's a remake of the Imperial Trading Post. Give a shout out to this one. With your ships. I like that. Hmm, I think I like the like El Dorado it. Fortress one a little bit better myself. But... I missed it. That would be neat. So when does this contest end? When are we going to know who wins? I mean, probably at the end of the year. Or is there a certain time it's going to come out? Well, yeah. curious, since you ask, let's go over that real quick. Oh, yeah, I'll just. On top of the page. Yeah. <laughs> so the ideas intake is over. They're not accepting any more applications. They're being reviewed August 4th, strictly August 4th. And so just in a couple of days. So, oh. you know, this is. Good timing for me to talk about it, sure honestly. Was. <laughs> and then uh, yeah. the winner is announced on August 10th. Oh. So coming up real soon. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, we got merch store. 
If you want to take a little piece of the show with you, you can get it right here. We got everything. You want some Mikey J stuff? We got the Mikey J Productions for you. So take a chance and stop by. We'll take care of you.